<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I actually wanted to be a background dancer before I wanted to do comedy, but that was my only move. And the inflatable ones were easier to ensure, I guess. <laughs> I'm still 25, so I got a year's left of the parents' insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but no, come February, I'm fucked, so it's, it's, everyone I work with doesn't have that, you don't need it, you're fine. <laughs> okay, good. What are you talking about? Um, so I gotta get crazy, I feel like, the next, you know what I mean, until it runs out, I gotta do something I can put the use to be a waste. I gotta, like, ride dirt bikes, or, <laughs> woo! I'm climbing. Blackout five days a week. That, that, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Service industry stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's called the gas. I want to talk about the service industry diet, the, uh, the, the health plan. Uh, we're all on it, I guess, you know what I mean? I actually used to be like really fat. Uh, I played college football, so you're uh, looking like a hundred pounds less Joe. And every time I see people from back home and order, they're like, oh my God, you're so skinny, I'd lose all the weight, blah, blah. And uh, the answer is simple. You lock yourself in a confined space and you walk around it for eight hours. Uh, and then you apply cigarettes and cocaine, and it just falls off. <laughs> well, anyone can do it, really. Um, <laughs> someone please find this man cocaine. I, um, I started my fine dining, uh, fuck, fucked it up. I'm fucking up, Tristan, you left it up here. <laughs> I started my hospitality career, is what the word I wanted to say, as a barista. Which, does that count? Is that, like, we count baristas as, yes. as industry? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Different, yeah. different. Yes. Morning, obviously, I worked at a morning coffee place. It was a nighttime only, that'd be weird. <laughs> um, but... Early mornings, terrible. Uh, everyone who comes to see, like, usually doesn't have their first cup of coffee in them, so they're angry. It's like, you know, last legal drug kind of thing. You got any lattes back there? <laughs> <laughs> Cappuccinos! Uh, make it a double. I, um, welcome. <laughs> and I, uh, now that I'm like, like waiting tables, waiting tables and whatnot, I feel like I took the barista in for granted. I, uh, cause all you're doing as a barista is making coffee, trying coffee, making more coffee, trying it again. Cause as the barista, it's up to you to make sure your product tip top. I want to, every pot of coffee's delicious, precise, but you know, uh, and that taste testing I took for granted cause there's so many jobs out there where taste testing is frowned upon. For, for example, my father is a gynecologist. Joke, my dad is actually an OB. OB. He's actually an OBGYN. Dr. Hackett, please. Uh, no, he is out bringing life into this world. He, uh, but yeah, OBGYN. I was so upset when I figured out he wasn't a Jedi. <laughs> but then I was like, this might be cool. Um, then once I got out of that barista bullshit, I got a job at a diner. Because, um, you know, like we started, we were like, I was going to do comedy, and then it was like, you can't have a real job to do comedy, you got to do something else. Uh, table. Anyway, the, uh, the, uh, the place I worked at was this, this terrible diner, like meatloaf, Mountain Dew, cut off t shirts. Like, uh, this, is back, this is back in Ohio, by the way, where I'm from, and the O in Ohio stands for uh, opiate addiction. <laughs> uh, you can only imagine the kind of clientele you get. Uh, you learn a lot in a place like that, though. I do remember one time this, uh, in our, this, sh this chef, if you could call him that, was this, he, 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 he come in with a stained apron. It was so confusing. <laughs> and I remember one time I ran back and I was like, yo, chef, uh, these eggs are sunny side up and they asked for over easy. 
and he looked at me and with his greasy, ungloved hand scoops the eggs off the plate and flips them over and hands me back the plate. And goes, a good waiter would have done that. <laughs> back to the table, I'm like, they're really fast. <laughs> uh, I'm now in fine dining. I work at a steakhouse down in the loop. Uh, unqualified, should not be working. I don't know. Everyone I work with is like a super old career server or they're super gay. Uh, some are both. The, for some reason, the hot, like the old people make sense as they never figured it out, I guess, but the gay people, they just, the hospitality and gayness, they're just so organized and, and careful and take care of everyone so well. The, uh, I mean, here we go. And so the, uh, the old, the older crowd makes me feel dumb because they just, they trump me on the wine knowledge and like the mise en place and the way you give someone a fork, like, I don't know. And then the gay people make me feel pretty. It's just, <laughs> it's quite nice, it is. Um, since I've had this spectrum of hospitality, uh, you know, whatever, I feel I can equate it to another thing I know well, and I feel like being a waiter is like working in porn, where, <laughs> if you're good at it, you can make a lot of money. Uh, you know what I mean? If it, uh, you know, like, fine dining is like well done for it. I feel everything's well lit, there's uh, people, there's good money, there's no stretch marks. It's like I'm trying to enjoy myself, but I see the zip on her butt. <laughs> And then I feel like the diner where the guy who asks how you want your eggs cooked is then the guy who cooks your eggs is like the casting couch of the <laughs> Got a lot of sick people in here tonight. Uh, all right, I got one. So since moved in Chicago, I've only been in Chicago for like seven months. The old restaurant I uh, work at just opened. After everyone's like, what just opened? What is working? Um, and I finally got to wait on a famous person, a super punk uh, DMX, the rapper. We all know. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. And that's how he ordered all of his food. He just barked at me the whole time. I <laughs> did I just get, I mean, like the louder barks in the yes, a little bit. He definitely had the most DMX uh, uh, order of all time, which was $800 of double Hennessy's and raw oysters. <laughs> I'm like, how are you gonna go sing after this? <laughs> this is so terrible. Uh, he was actually very nice. He had his whole posse of people, and like, of course, like the one white dude at the table was the scariest looking guy. <laughs> um, and halfway through the meal, uh, a woman joined them, and she had to have been a prostitute. I don't know how to make this funny, but she just was. She was just like. We have a dress code, and she barely met it. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, as you can't kick DMX's hooker out of the dress code. <laughs> So I just gotta paint the picture. So it's like a, it's a high, not that I'm gonna, not the picture of the hooker, I wouldn't do her justice. Uh, I got nice legs though, I tell you what, I could, anyway. Uh, so it's a high top, and I do well at high tops because I'm as tall as them, so it works well for me. So the lady comes in, and this is, this is Mr. X, and, and then, uh, so he's sitting down, and then the lady comes and joins, and I come up between them, because I, I wanted, I wanted to like, smell him. I was interested. <laughs> What's going on with this guy? Um, but uh, she comes and sits down, and as the, you know, welcome, yes, may I please, wonderful, can I? Uh, uh, she's like, I need sweet red wine, which I don't even heard of sweet red wine. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you bring him a glass of Pinot, and, next, and then I literally, next, it's simple syrup and fucking crazy. <laughs> Good. I'm like, it's an 08. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to that debacle. I was like, some food this evening. Would you like to join in on uh, Mr. X's diet? And then uh, she, but she's like, I'm going to do the lobster. And <laughs> 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 it was like, yo, yo, uh -huh. over there, that side, that's the fucking side of the menu. You order from over there, you know what happened. We fucking tonight.
got him. <laughs> As the waiter, though, you, it is kind of like you're like for it's you gotta like you're the bouncer, the bring the food, the bar, you know what I mean? Not the bartender, sorry, bartenders. We don't make the drinks. I get it. We tip you out. Fuck it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start it. Uh, you know, you, but you have to like maintain. You're like I don't know, like whatever. And so I felt like this. Am I gonna have to kick DMX out of this restaurant? <laughs> Poor woman. But then thank God she saved me because then she's like, huh, I'm here to work. <laughs> One lobster, thank you. <laughs> um, John, I think I'm done. Yeah, let's just keep this thing going, all right? How are we feeling about that? Uh, that's 